Alright guys, welcome back. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to flash from stock to the uh, Samsung LT. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you get the uh, latest version of Jungle Flasher, which right there says, uh, that was a little blurry, it's version uh, 1.75 beta 152. And you want to make sure you grab the firmware and just get it from the regular places. And just make sure that you dump it into this firmware folder right here. So It might be rarred or zipped or whatever, but just make sure you unrar it, unzip it, and make sure it says the bin file. So make sure you place it right there because that's important. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire it up. Jungle Flasher. Again, it's version 1.75b. Okay, you got your main screen. So what you want to go to is the MTK Flash 32 tab. And you want to click on the intro device ID right there. And right now, it's going to give you the error because uh, I didn't turn it on. So you're going to click yes. And right now it's just going to just stay in vendor mode until it picks it up, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Xbox. It's on right now, and luckily it was able to pick it up right away. Sometimes you might have to power flash it, um, maybe once or tw twice at the most, but usually once would be just good enough, so um, just, just so that you're aware. Uh, make sure that it does say drive in vendor mode gives you the good flash chip properties just like that and it gives you this output right here when you see that then you know that your drive is good to go and basically it's the same procedure like how I flash it back to stock we're going to first click on that read button and it's basically just going to just uh, read or dump the firmware so it's reading those banks Right there, it's going to prompt you to save it somewhere. So we're going to save the OFW file somewhere. Save it. Okay, now this is where it's different. It's going to say, you know, Samsung firmware loaded to source buffer. Do you wish to auto load Samsung iExtreme? Now, since now assuming that you uh, save the bin file in the correct firmware folder for the uh, Jungle Flasher, all you have to do is click yes. So we're just going to click yes to that. And what you see there is that it should auto-populate the uh, the key, and everything should be good to go. So you actually don't have to click on that spoof source to target like how I did with the stock firmware, um, because that does it for you automatically from from what I understand from the <coughs> tutorial. So uh, you just have to make sure that the drive keys for both the source and the target make sure that they are both the same. Uh, you don't get you know like random. Um, leading zeros, leading Fs, things like that. Otherwise, that'll be a bad key, and when you flash it, it won't be good. So just make sure that's good. And then, after you do that, you're gonna click on that save the file right there. Save the file. And you're gonna save your CFW bin file somewhere. Okay, once you do that, then we just have to write it. So you have to go to the MTK flash uh, 32 time. And go to the right button. And right now it's writing. Yeah, I apologize that, that it looks kind of blurry right now. Um, it's because I turned off autofocus. And uh, I did that because I don't I don't want it to autofocus while I'm actually doing this tutorial because it might give you all a headache. Um, I know it's kind of a pain, you know, for it to focus while I'm trying to um, do this tutorial. So I decided just to turn it off. So it might be blurry, but uh, you get the gist of it. I mean, you should be familiar with how to use Jungle Flasher. This is I don't know what version of Jungle Flasher this is. I mean, it started back when. Um, I forgot one what firmware that they that they did it on when they first launched the Jungle Flasher, but um, 
everyone knows how to work the way right work the uh know how to how the GUI works and stuff like that so y'all should be familiar with the tabs and the buttons and stuff like that they haven't really changed it that much so it basically remained the same so right there um it says that if ver it did the right verified okay so that means it flashed good without a problem so all we have to do is just hook it back up and test it with a backup and if it plays hey it's all good to go so stay tuned